What's happening, Juggalos? It's time for that Tarot Tuesday again. And I'm here with my new altar I just arranged this morning. Can't see it too well, but I'm going to post some more some pictures on my website. I have a whole uh, video about how to make your own dark carnival altar. This is a new one. I'm going to post some pictures of it on my website. Make sure to go down to the description. I always have links to my website where you can find more Tarot Tuesdays, Dark Carnival, witchery stuff, and all the kind of stuff that I do. I make music and everything. So go check out my website. Find out all the other shit I do other than Tarot Tuesday. If you haven't already. But anyway, this video is about tarot, not Dark Carnival witchery. It's just kind of a part of it, isn't it? So... Under the new weed altar, you see the little weed leaves? It's my new, uh, my new bandana I got. I decided to put it on my altar. And I thought it was very fitting for the Dark Carnival. So, anyway, let's start, as always, with creating our sacred space in order to do our tarot. Dark Carnival, Dark Carnival, Dark Carnival surround us now create our sacred space so we may hear what we need to hear through the waves of intuition for the juggalos whoop whoop let's get this started first we must shuffle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. There we are. Set for the week. Tomorrow is the first day. It is December the 2nd. And what do we have? The Joker of Ducats. You see him there smiling, pointing at his ducats. He's just getting a start, just getting a handle on life, just finding his place in life. But he's eager to be there, eager to begin and start his work on his life. So tomorrow, we're starting work. A lot of us are probably starting to look for presents. I know I've already got most of my presents taken care of, but I don't know, that comes to mind. The red and green just makes me think, yeah... We're starting to get in that Christmas buzz. For me, it's Yule. I celebrate Yule on the solstice as opposed to celebrating Christmas on the 25th. And that's my choice. But either way, you go with um, Christmas, Yule, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Uh, it's starting to come into the mind. It's starting to manifest. We're starting to put decorations up if you haven't already. It's, it's just, oh, start of things day. Start of lifely tasks. Oh, I know I've barely had time to start any, but I do already have my tree up. So, <clears throat> we might have more of that happening. I see the tree there, and I think decorations tree. Is this, this is all going on tomorrow. Maybe you're just busy today. For Thursday, we have the Emperor. The Emperor is telling us to use our logic and reason. And to destroy what we don't need in our life. So the things we do in our, need in our life will flourish. So we'll have room to let them grow. You must destroy before you grow. That is the lesson of Carnival of Carnage. And for Thursday. Okay, so for Friday. We have another major arcania. The Juggler. The juggler, as you can see, lays out his cards in front of him. He uses all the resources he has at his disposal to make what he wants in life. This is a day of crafting, creating, manifesting what you will from your power. Ooh, a productive fun Friday. For Saturday, we have this old card, the Six of Ducats. Ooh, a second ducat card. Our second minor arcania for the week is also a ducat. Also about life. This life is 
about taking opportunities. Um, and there's some bright opportunities in your future if you are willing to look for them. Be ever mindful and have your eye ever open to the opportunities, especially on Saturday. Opportunities are knocking, but you must answer the door. And then Sunday we have, oh, the two of Fagos. The two of Fagos we see happy relations. Whether you're in a relationship or not, um, romantically, it doesn't matter. This is, as I see it, a balance of any kind of relationship. Friendships, family members, romantic relationships, you and your kids, you and your mom. Whatever. There's so many different relationships we have in our life. Um, on Sunday, we see a balancing of a one-on-one -on -one relationship and a happiness and much love shared between beautiful Sunday full of love oh then on Monday we have the seven of gets we got caught somebody has their eye on you and you are getting caught to be ever careful on Monday Or you may just get captured. Be careful, please. And then finally, a week from the day, next Tuesday, we have the Five of Fagos. Oh my goodness, this looks like a horrible card, doesn't it? Look at it, Juggalos. Oh my god, this fool hurt himself badly and that's what the five of fagos is about on tuesday watch your step don't be doing any stupid stunts no 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 because you just might get fucked up a little bit of warning there at the beginning of next week i hope uh next week's tarot tuesday goes all right hopefully my feelings won't get hurt huh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the week for us today. Very interesting week, full of inspiration and getting things done and warnings of don't be acting too crazy. Oh, oh, good messages for the jugglers, are they not? I hope so. Well, until next time, merry murder, happy death, and I wish you all the best. Whoop, whoop. Juggalos.